to the Department of Defense, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial is the most visited memorial on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. It holds the names of all Americans killed in the widely unpopular war. Thousands of veterans' names are not on that wall. Instead, they died from the war years later from illnesses or PTSD. That group of veterans is instead honored through a Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund program called In Memory, which this weekend will honor a man from Maine. I think most people know the Vietnam War was not a popular war. And most of the men and women who went and fought were drafted. And my husband Bob was. Robert Kipp, a name that will now forever be memorialized along with other veterans who fought in Vietnam but died years later. Keep this with you always, so I will always be with you. Just don't forget about me and I'll do the same for you. And we had 48 really wonderful years together. Then in early 2020, he, he started to, uh, he knew something was wrong. And it turned out he had bladder cancer. Agent Orange was a defoliant the U.S. sprayed over thick jungles, which the North Vietnamese used as cover. Shortly after the war ended, the compound was found to be linked to a host of health issues, including bladder cancer. 50 years after the fact, I lost Bob to the Vietnam War. While the names of those like Kip are not being added to the memorial in Washington, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund does recognize thousands of veterans who have died from Agent Orange exposure, PTSD, or other illnesses as a result of their service. Families are encouraged to apply to the fund's In Memory program, which adds names to an honor roll in recognition of their sacrifice. Donna Kip and her family will be in Washington, D.C. this weekend for a service to those veterans. Baca, U.S. Marine Corps. Separate. They all took their share of scorn, and it means the world to me and my four children that Bob and so many other Vietnam vets are getting recognized, even though they have passed. Donna is thankful her husband's name was never on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall because it meant she had more time with him. But she is proud of the recognition he will now receive. They're all heroes. Bob is my personal hero.